I would definitely describe myself as lost. Um, wasn't quite sure, you know, where I belonged, what I wanted to be. For the first time in my life that I got a buzz, I was like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be. All of a sudden, I was a little more comfortable in that same skin that I couldn't find comfort in. I was kind of running around with my own crowd outside of the kids I went to school with and um, getting high and getting drunk. Yep, that was me as a teen. Most people didn't realize to the extent of how I drank and how much I was drinking. So it was very gradual. You know, it went from when I'm first graduating from college, I'd get a six pack of beer and I'd watch TV and drink the six pack. And then through the years, that six, that six pack becomes a 12 pack because the six beers aren't quite getting you where you need to get. But it had gotten to the point where due to the freedom in my schedule and frankly, just the way I abused alcohol, um, I was drinking every single day, uh, sometimes starting as early as noon. It had finally gotten to where I would drink, um, they had these cartons of wine. It's like a bottle and a third of wine and I would drink that before I did anything. <laughs> I can't even really sit here and tell you how it got there, it just kind of got there. You know, time just going along and keeping up the same habits. Day just like any average Wednesday, um, I'd started drinking a little earlier. I had a long afternoon of conference calls that I didn't have to say too much on. Um, plenty of time, just me, and I decided I'd start having a couple drinks. It was a decent day out, um, and everything was moving along fine, and at some point in that day, I think my wife had the nerve to ask me to go to the pool with her and my kids. The reason I phrase it like that is because to most people that's a pretty exciting way to spend a nice afternoon, but to an alcoholic like myself it was an interruption. It led to an argument um, and I continued to drink because of the argument and I left and didn't come home. I felt pretty bad about it. Um, you know, there's a lot of guilt associated with anybody struggling with addiction of any kind, but for me, that was a big one. She basically let me know, you know, this has been going on for months. Here I was thinking I was a genius hiding everything. Well, Amber was aware of a good deal of what I was up to, and she said, this is not okay. We have kids. Um, and I can't stand by and watch you destroy yourself and let it bleed into our family. I hadn't done that crucial piece that I think God wanted me to do, and that was fully admitting that I was an alcoholic. I'd get to the parking lot and I wouldn't go because I, once again, convinced myself I didn't need it. When I was in the first meeting, there was a guy that had been in the program for 30, 40 years, and he talked about the importance of praying on your knees. So you go forward a couple weeks after I've been in the program with some pretty intensive prayer and spending a good chunk of my days praying and um, you know reading the Bible, going through and searching the Bible for verses that deal with addiction. One morning, as I was praying, I thought about what that guy said and I got on my knees. And the vulnerability and the surrender that physically went with that, it still to this day is one of the most powerful things that's ever happened to me. I could feel the Holy Spirit coming into me. I could feel, I don't even know how to describe it. I could just, I could feel I have the strength to do this and felt like I can beat this. God removing that block and allowing me to fully open up in my relationship with him has just been leaps and bounds different. I can tell you now, it's a pretty amazing feeling to truly derive joy from spending some time with your children and your wife. Unfortunately, with addiction, it doesn't go away. Um, for me, it's crucial and I have to pray daily, multiple times a day. It's become the norm for me when I wake up to say my daily prayer. And I think that is directly as a result of God. I mean, I don't have the strength <laughs> to win every day. It really get, boils down to giving God control and pulling myself out of the equation and just 
getting up and being at his will on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm Sam Crawley, and I'm an alcoholic.